Um, how would each of you have voted last year on the bill that passed last session that is effectively shutting down 17 of 22 clinics in Northern Virginia that were providing, among other, other things, safe abortions and will now put many employees of those clinics out of work? I would have voted no. Um, the bill that passed, it was a very unfortunate bill, and it was uh, introduced at the urging of Governor McDonald. And what this bill does, essentially, is require women's health centers, uh, that, by the way, that provide a range of services from primary care through reproductive services and abortion services. It requires these health centers to, um, to actually meet the physical requirements of a hospital such as having wider hallways or wider bathrooms. Very costly. And these regulations are so costly that, as um, the moderator just noted, 17 out of the 21 clinics will be forced to close. This is extraordinarily, extraordinarily unfortunate. Because in many parts of the state, this is the, the access to care that most women have. And to close these clinics is a very dangerous thing. And it's not medically necessary. What it does is it's really denying access. The motive behind this was to deny access to safe abortions. Yes. I, I need to speak from personal experience here because I'm not involved in this issue as an activist. And I don't, I can't, I wasn't in the session. I can't judge what the motivations were. And I haven't seen the bill in the legislation. But I can say that someone who uh, you know, wants to serve and is running for public office. When I first read about this, because I had no vested interest, I'm not an expert, the first thing I thought of was uh, about a situation that happened in my life uh, a few years ago when our nine-year-old was three and I had a miscarriage. And so we had to, I had to go to a hospital to have a DNC. And all I could think, all I remembered from that time is that I was glad that I was in the hospital. And I think we need to change the conversation because not everyone involved in these issues is an activist. There are real people here. It's a, it's a heartbreaking uh, a medical procedure and decision, and I think we need a conversation that embraces that, not the activism. 